Well, hello there, guys. You know, probably been about, I don't know, two, three years ago, I went through a generator with you for that 48 Style Master. Um, I believe I put it on the bench and we motored it and then made sure the field coils were working, you know, disconnecting the wire and it speeds up faster. And then we went through it, rebuilt it, um, and sent it, put it back on the car. Well, I've got another one in the works here. It's out of a 49 Chevy pickup and it happens to have a bad armature. So I thought just for fun it'd be a good little a good little chance to put it on the test armature tester growler and uh, go over some tests with one of those that you can do. So the star of the show here is this old Silver Beauty Model 440 growler. Don't let the name fool you, it's actually quite turquoise. Um, many of these old testers have a gauge, an amperage gauge on it. Uh, this one just happens to have a test light, uh, which is exactly that. It, it simply shows you whether or not you have continuity. Obviously it's generating its own power, and so that is all the light does for you. Now there are a few more tests you can do with an ammeter in line and those are typically all outlined in the service manual for your particular vehicle if you want to do that. I'm just I'm just messing around here honestly um, but like I said this is this just shows continuity and if I if our light illuminates here we pretty much probably have good field coils. At least there's not a short in them. Then we can test the ground from the field terminal to the ground of the case. We're not grounding out. The light is not illuminating. So we're pretty sure we don't have a short to ground from the field coils. We could also quickly test and see if your positive brush holder here has a short in it, whether it's grounding out. Obviously we have continuity there. I should not have continuity on my positive brush holder. My negative brush holder, I should. So that looks great. And as I said, you can also perform a field coil balance test. Basically, you're disconnecting the solder joint in between. You're putting an ammeter in line with your test leads and you are testing each coil one at a time and seeing the result and whether or not you're getting an, you know, within spec, you're getting an even, even result from your field coils. This is the one that came in the generator. It is quite very, very worn down and it was having problems in the vehicle, according to the owner. We can test for armature grounding this way and that seems to be fine then we can test for an armature short and I can feel it humming there even <laughs> Twanging like a hillbilly with a juice harp. So that armature is shorted. This is a new old stock one I bought off eBay. It is the correct part number for the application 1921-235. Again, we can test for armature grounding. It's fine. And we can use our blade and we got silence. So that's a good NOS armature and we will throw her back in and hopefully he will be happy happy. Well there you go guys, this short little video playing around with the Silver Beauty which is in fact quite turquoise. We're gonna get this generator back together, get it back to the owner so he can get his his uh, old Chevy ride back on the road before spring hits, you know. Well I'm sure he'll wait but Anyway, anyway, I don't know if this was of any help or entertaining in the least, but if any of you want to dig into your own generators, there you go. This is an option. 
uh, you can go back and watch that other video. Um, I also rebuilt a starter with you guys for that 48. Um, and if you just don't want to do it and you're, you got a problem with one of your old Delco Remy 6 volters, check out my website, ratsliffmotorco.com. You can send it in to me, follow the instructions there, and uh, I'll take care of it and get it back to you. That is an option. Don't hesitate, hesitate to email me if you have anything beyond the years and the type of stuff I work on that I say there. Um, you got a question, whatever. Get in touch with me. Anyway, thanks a lot. God bless you. See you on the next one.